Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to go over what Hot Wheels I'm going to be selling to a, a friend of mine who is also a collector. We're going to go through my collection of loose Hot Wheels that I'm going to sell and see what I want to keep and what I'm going to sell. The goal is to sell them all, but we'll see how that goes when I look through each one of them to see which one I'm going to keep out of this bag here. Let's check them out. So here are the cars I'm going to be selling for 50 cents a piece to my friend. Um, I went through the stack. I only kept some of the collection and like a couple cars I've recently gotten. So this is all my loose ones that I have. The other ones you saw on the channel are my son and I's loose ones we share, use on tracks and stuff like that. But these were just mine. Uh, kind of weren't being displayed anyway. So we'll go through each one. So this was number six. We'll go quickly. This is a Matchbox Tesla. I almost kept this one. It's 57. Chevy is really cool. The gold. Oh, this one almost stayed as well. But the point is, is to get rid of this stuff. Uh, here's the bus. Green bus. It's pretty cool. Nice blue. Paint job on that one. I don't like this car, so I'm not sure why I have it. Pretty cool muscle car here. I always like the silver. I think it looks good. A big R on top. Got the red and blue wheels. Kind of cool. I have the other car, or one of the other cars, I think with the H on it. I'm not sure where it is. But the blue and the white look good. That's going to go. It's red and white. Ram Charger is pretty cool. A couple Bone Crushers, the gray one. So I am keeping like the Rocket Lee one. Like the stuff in sets like that, I am going to keep. The basic NASCAR Hot Wheels, but it has a classic Hot Wheels logo with that blue. Got a Lambo. It's kind of unimpressive Lambo, to be honest. These Corvette looking cars. I kept the other one that has the dragon art on it, which I thought was a cooler version. We got the uh, Gany here, Zonda. Cloak and Dagger car. I do have the white one somewhere. If I can find it, I will add it to the list. I'm not a huge fan of this car, actually. I mean, it's kind of funky looking, but not a huge fan of it. Don't like these extra parts. They don't really look good to me on these cars. I do like the paint job. I like blue's okay. And I like the art. It's also gonna go it's like forest green. It was big in the late 90s. Kind of surprised we haven't seen this color make a comeback yet. I'm sure it will. Here's a deep sea explorer car. So we got an aquatic theme. I almost kept this one, these 80s ones. You know, nostalgia really hits, like, growing up, or 90s, 90s, 80s stuff. Corvette, pretty cool, gold, the uh, white racing stripes. Same with RX-7 from their 80s line. So I'm keeping the RX-7 police car that I recently picked up. Don't let that one go. Cool blue muscle car, the big number eight. Silver accents is nice, it's a good looking car. Almost kept this because it's like this blue looks really good with this gold. So another Zonda. Don't like this car at all. Don't know why I have it. Thunderbirds I thought were pretty cool. Then the one with like the radio frequency on it with the two tone, black and gold. Got a Toyota here, in the 80s. Got the Lorian. And Pontiac Firebird. So these will all be leaving the collection. Moving on to another Hot Wheels collector. who will hopefully enjoy them. Maybe get displayed. So like I said, these weren't being displayed. Uh, this one still tempting. Um, along with these 80s ones. But I got to get rid of some of this stuff. So these will be leaving the collection. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Once again, thanks for watching.